Hi, I'm Megan Farrell. I am a third year PhD student in Manu Platt's lab at the Georgia Institute of Technology. I study enzymes and how they degrade the matrix that holds your cells together. I'm originally from Tampa, Florida, and I did my undergrad at the University of Florida. Go Gators! I'm a scientist because I like the problem-solving aspect of science, so research seemed perfect for that. <laughs> I've been motivated a lot by family members and close friends that have had cancer. The way I kind of perceive the lab is I walk in through the office corridor first. There are tons of people and everyone's really supportive and, and friendly. And you know, you ask them your questions as you walk to your desk in the morning. And there are all sorts of different machines and supplies and just everything to do all of your wet lab experiments. We've got a tissue culture room where you can grow your cells. And we've got microscopes so that you can image them. And we've got computers in the lab to also help you analyze your data and things like that. I like the microscope just because you get awesome pictures. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. It's very intimidating because it's like an expensive piece of equipment, but it's always exciting when you get to take pictures of your cells and your work. So. We're studying these enzymes that are degrading your matrix. And we found that in addition to degrading the matrix, they also interact with each other. And we think this is why they've been so hard to treat with different drugs. You know, my mission is to kind of figure out how those interactions play a role in pr appropriately drug dosing so that way if we have inhibitors we can dose them correctly so they can be effective in people. Our lab is a lot of fun and we all celebrate each other's successes and it's, it's just a great collaborative environment. My hopes and dreams is that we can develop these cathepsin inhibitors and have them appropriately dosed so that they can actually be used in patients and stop cancer metastasis. Okay. It's okay for there to be mistakes. I know it kind of seems intimidating. You're like, I'm doing this science project. I, you know, it has to be perfect. But in reality, research doesn't always go as planned and there are new hurdles and things that everyone kind of comes together to overcome. It's actually a lot of fun.